Hi, my name is Philip, and I'm a senior consultant at Switzerland Global Enterprise. Do you remember your first product which you ever bought online? I clearly do. It was a CD of my favorite Italian band. And the reason why I bought it online in 2004? It was quite simple. It was a limited edition and it was not sold in Switzerland, so I had to buy it online in Italy. Many years later, two things have changed. CDs are hardly sold anymore, but online retail has reached new dimensions. In Switzerland, last year, online sales were growing by 27% and it doubled within the last six years. COVID-19 was an important reason for this. But not just nationally, online retailers have expanded. Increasingly, products are also being imported and exported via e-commerce. As a manufacturer, the question therefore arises, should I also sell my products internationally via e-commerce? And what needs to be considered? And could, for example, Turkey be the right market for me and my products? What many do not know, even in 2021, online commerce has a lot of national differences. Local legislations need to be known and cultural differences shape online trading. Buying behavior, key marketplaces, price perceptions, and even advertising opportunities, all those elements might be different in a new market. For me, 2020 repeated what was the trigger for my CD purchase. Products were no longer available. With stores closing, we were forced to shop online, and many realized the advantages of e-commerce. This gave e-commerce that push, which I just mentioned. But the big question is now, what comes next? Will there be a decline in the post-COVID era in e-commerce, or will it continue to grow? We've put together an exciting webinar on this Wednesday, June 30th, about e-commerce in Turkey. It is organized by the Swiss Chamber of Commerce in Turkey, by the Swiss Business Hub of Turkey, and Switzerland Global Enterprise. Please register now. I'm looking forward to seeing you online in the webinar.